Many times over the course of the last couple of years, I've been asked to retell the story of the lizard. And I thought for posterity sakes, I would tell the story and include it in the Anders Family video album for 2007. A couple of years ago, I was away on a business trip in New York. And Karen, Bailey, and Riley were back here in Georgia. And my cell phone rang. <laughs> Barely able to make out what she was saying, Karen was yelling, there's a lizard in the bathroom. To which I thought, okay. She says loudly, how do I get it out? I paused for a moment and said, well, let me refer to my traveling man handbook. Uh? And she very quickly says back to me, stop it. What do I do? How do I get it out? Again, puzzled. Hmm. I said to her, what does it look like? She said, I don't know, he's got a blue tail. And I said, uh-oh. And she screamed back, oh my god, what? I said, what she got there? That's the famous blue-tailed lizard. Dead silence. I, on the other hand, started cracking up. Thought I hit the jackpot of comebacks or one-liners. Of course, Karen didn't feel the same way. She says to me, stop it, that's not funny, how do I get it out? I said to her, well, here's what I do. Go to Petco, go down the food aisle and look for famous blue tail lizard food. And again, I start cracking up again, <laughs> thinking I hit a great comedic line. <laughs> Damn it, Bill, stop it. You always do this. <laughs> stop laughing, this isn't funny. I hate when you do this to me. And I said, honey, I'm sorry, I am so sorry. Put the lizard on the phone. There was a pause followed by a click. I was dying laughing. Once I got done laughing, I tried several more times that day to call Karen back and apologize for my comedic behavior or my lack of help. And she never did answer that day.